what happened to $23 million worth of tech devices at Chicago Public Schools. The CPS Inspector General says the schools need a complete overhaul on how to track lost or stolen laptops and other tech devices. The IG released a new wide-ranging report, and our political reporter, Mary Ahern, joining us now with much more on what was found. Marianne? Allison, CPS spent millions on federal COVID relief funds on laptops during the pandemic. But where are thousands of those devices now? That is just one of the questions raised in this CPS IG report. We're always looking at fraud, waste, misconduct. The Inspector General for Chicago Public Schools, William Fletcher, released his annual report. His office found 77,000 laptops and other tech devices lost or stolen, worth $23 million. In the same year where these devices were reported as lost or stolen, the district CPS spent $124 million on uh, on, 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 tech, on tech assets. In reality, the district doesn't really have a reliable way to track where their devices are going um, or really to hold um, you know, staff or even students and families accountable. Chalkbeat and WBEZ first disclosed how CPS spent 308 million COVID relief dollars on technology without a reliable tracking plan. The IG is offering 16 recommendations. The district has agreed um, to, to varying degrees to act on all 16 of those recommendations. Last year, the IG also received 446 sexual misconduct complaints. The office determined 7% were sexual acts, 26% other sexual misconduct, 67% guideline violations, including giving students rides without informing the parents or the school, texting with students late at night. Those allegations may not be sexual on their face, but they have to be investigated because if not, they could lead to much more serious misconduct. During the pandemic, the government offered PPP loans, Paycheck Protection Program, but the IG found CPS employees lied on their applications. 810 CPS employees took PPP loans. In the last year, 16 of them were fired or resigned, once questions were asked. Fletcher notes his office is summer. not done. We have focused our investigation on year-round employees who are high-dollar earners who know better than to cheat the government. Now back to the issue of those stolen or lost tech devices. CPS responded to this new IG report and says in part the majority of the 77,000 assets were well over five years old. And the typical lifespan of a computer is five years. Many of the lost assets were thrown out by schools due to their age. CPS also says it's working on disabling the devices that are not prompt, promptly returned. Stefan. Marianne Ahern with us tonight. Marianne, thank you so much.